Buck Bruce, this is a flashback to the 90s when we used to have about 70 or so cars out there on the racetrack and we lined them up just just about like this. Yes, sir. We'd line them up and sometimes they'd go all the way around to the middle of the back stretch. And by the time you drop the green flag from a standstill, the front half caught the back half before they even took off. So this ought to be pretty interesting. Like I said, lined up four wide. And I think these fans are ready for a show. You ready? All right, we're waiting for the officials to give the word, Mike, and I think we're getting ready to see Bill Mullis throw the green flag on this field in just a few moments here. So I know that everybody's All right, Buck. Up. Let's count them down, race fans. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go, race in. Yeah, turn them loose. Day of destruction is on. A double green flag. And they aim for the barrel. Four car turned around. Eight car up in the grass in turns one and two. The eight car is about to get the lead. Looks like David Nichols. The 110 spins around in between three and four with a lot of traffic headed his way. You don't know where to look, man. There's so much going on. There's so much going on all around the track. You don't know where to look. Here's Rex all over. Turn four, guys. There's Turn a car four. just sitting there sideways. Turn four, red flag, red flag. Everybody will come to a stop. Oh, or almost try to come to a stop. Ooh, that didn't sound good down there. Somebody's trying to get out the ditch down there, and they're just matting it. It's one of the eight cars. Yeah, there were cars everywhere, Mike. <laughs> got Johnny Gandhi and also David Nichols listed as drivers of cars eight. So I'm not sure which one that is. Well, they made a mess of this racetrack. <laughs> it didn't take long, did it? Very quickly. They, I think I counted six different barrels that got hit in that first lap. So. Talladega ain't got nothing on us. Oh, no, yeah, and the today. one, the eight car on the front stretch, Mike, that's David Nichols. Okay. You can read the name on the roof of it. Bryant Motorsports, number eight, the yellow hood with the red car. All right, that must be Johnny Gandhi and that other eight down in the ditch between one and two. Yeah, that's Sean in the bottom of uh, turn four right down here. The very low car that's actually down on the apron. That's the black 12. And I can see that Sean in there. They just hit the throttle. Here we go. Back underway, and uh, you don't really know where to look at because everywhere you look, you're going to see action, action, action. <laughs> five wide in between three and four, and five wide in between one and two, all at the same time. All right, 47 in turn four has come to a stop. Needs to get out. Red, red flag is uh, going to be displayed. Turn four, number 47. Red flag. Every oh, it gets hit, and that damaged the zero two quite a bit. <laughs> just drove right into him. That windshield is uh, where you're supposed to look out, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah I thought so. I thought you're supposed to be looking out the windshield. <laughs> Michael Jorner in the O2. Don't know if he can continue. Looks like he might be able to. Nah, his radiator's gone. If he continues, it won't be long. All right, here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Back to green. A couple of cars to maneuver down there in turn four. Also down in between one and two. A couple up against the wall. And also over in turn three on the outside. One with the black flag hanging out of the back. Still in the race, he's making his exit in turn four as we speak. The 110 goes up and tags the wall on the back straightaway. 
And that spoiler still hanging on. Just barely. <laughs> oh, two barrels hit at one time, and third time, and a fourth time on the front straightaway. The 98 trying to hang on to it between one and two, sideways. Buck Root. Mike, I think we had a pass for the lead. I don't know if the 10 car's listed up there, but I haven't seen him in anything, so he just passed the eight machine coming down the front stretch. They're going down the back stretch into turn three now, that gold 10 car. Right gold 10, yeah, looks like uh, not a scratch on that thing. And he did get past the eight machine. Evans Auto, number 10. The other thing, oh man, he hit that, that, that liquid down there where somebody's hit one of those barrels with the uh, dishwashing detergent in it. And by the way, what you see up there on the scoreboard, the unofficial results in the scoring, but we do believe that 10 is in the lead. There's the 22, Bill Aker down in the ditch. And we're not sure, but we think the 10 car might be in the lead. He did get past that eight machine, although uh, we don't see his name up there on the scoreboard, but those are the unofficial results. And then everybody else is trying to stay on the track and they're staying three wide and all over the place instead of driving down the apron and going clear right by everybody. And that's the way the 10 car actually passed the eight. He got trapped behind the car going into three, took the apron off of four and took the lead. And so Pelix machine was sitting backwards over here and uh, the no. entrance to turn three. Now he's right at it. He's at the uh, no wheel the on the 98 buck. <laughs> it's on the back of the car uh, hanging yes. off the back bumper. It's like a 1930s Woody. It's got it hanging off the back bumper now. <laughs> Ten car is your leader. Chris Roberts in the 10. Bill Aker stuck down in the ditch. He'll have to climb from the vehicle. He's in the 22. And I think Ralph has also climbed from the vehicle. The one with the big speaker on top, 54. He's going to go over there and uh, reach in and turn off his radio. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's count it down. Five, four, three, two, one. Back to green flag. Larry King Laws, Langley Speedway, the 11th Annual Day of Destruction from Evans Auto Center. Papa John's Pizza, six wide, now seven wide as the exit turn four. Into the wall, smash, Hulk smash. He's gonna pull out. They got a lot of cars to maneuver in turn four. There's a couple spinning around over here. Sammy, what you got over here? In turn one, 31 pulled down the front of the hay. Just kind of wadded up there together. Blake Russell in 31, right here on the front straightaway, 33 and a half. Mike Canary, zero, one. But the whole rear end, it looks like gone from that zero one machine over between one and two, sitting on top of the tire. <laughs> 69 into the pits, and the red flag is out again. Yeah, we got uh, one driver that needs to get out of the vehicle over here. The zero one is done. Are y'all having fun yet or what? I don't think they're paying attention. Well, they'll pay attention once the car heads their way, <laughs> but it might be too late. Four and five wide as they will crank them back up in between one and two. When we go back to green. Five, four, three, two, one, turn them loose. It's hard enough to drive around this racetrack when it's dry, but you know, it's all sticky and slick and messy, and that makes it even more of a challenge. Plus, you got obstacles you got to race around, Sam. It makes it hard. 
These guys are doing it really. A lot of them are doing a pretty good job, man, as well as the track is from, the, from holding the cars from spinning. Because, I mean, when you get that water on that flat track, it's, it's slick. Red flag again. And we got one spinning, and completely around the 71. As he comes to a stop, doesn't realize the red flag is out. And still going for some reason. There we go. And the 171 backed up into that uh, 71. We also have Baba, uh, I'm sorry, Bobby in the 77. So that's Bobby Winfrey. And Mike, your top two cars are st sitting at the start finish line, nose to tail. 10 and the 77 are sitting right here in the middle of the racetrack. Once again, the driver listed as Mark Jeffries, and he's out. And Mike, you've talked about him uh, being out right now. He's hit just a lot of soap down there in three and four from those barrels, Bill Aker. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I I don't know what happened. I was coming here, the red flag was out, and there was a couple cars that were pretty much stopped. So I had to stop pretty quickly, and it just went around. It got down in the ditch. I'm so angry that, you know, my car is still fine. I was running really good, and I couldn't get back out. Green flag, back to the action. There you go, green flag. The match as usual, green race car. The Bill's down here now spectating with me on bit road, Mike, and uh, your two leaders go down into turn one. 10 cars able to hang on to it, though, as they get ready to exit two. Seven seventy-seven is going to call it a day. It looks like Keith Brown. That other seventy-seven in second spot. Bobby Winfrey, by the way, is in second. And Chris Roberts maintains the lead after ten laps. Car ten in the lead. Right here on the front straightaway. Seventy-one sideways spins around. Nineteen also. They avoid getting hit. taken out of the second spot and he's trying to get his car refired but can't quite do it in between one and two as everybody comes to a stop it did sort of look like that didn't it, Sammy? yeah it looked like he just took him right out on purpose I don't know if them guys know each other or having fun but i mean he just drove right into it and who was it that took him out uh, 51 51 yeah they, they went down in the corner and the 51 just never turned i don't know if something broke in it or if it just like sammy said he just aimed but he definitely caught him right in the left rear and took him right to the fence Charles Roberts uh, shown as the driver of 51 and the 77 is waving his hand. He'll need to get out. All right, waiting for the 171 to get into the pits and then we'll count them down again for you and turn them loose. All right, here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Back to green. Ten cars still up there in the lead going the way. I tell you something, you got to watch that little 41 car. Yeah. I've been watching him run through the field. He started, he started like fourth from left. He's been working his way up steadily. I think that's uh, Richard Ellis in 41. Richard Quinn has worked his way all the way up into the second position. Sean Calway also driving car 31 today. And if you made it this far, you're doing a good, <laughs> good thing, man. We're only 13 laps into a 50 lap race. 
Yeah, we, we, we finished losing cars, yeah. We're going to lose a few more for the end of this one. Yeah. The 120 is coming to a stop here at the exit of turn four. He will come up against the wall, but it looks like his day is done in the 120. Yeah, he got smoke coming out of the radiator. He's finished. Frank Bohannon in the 120 and the 47 tags the wall here right at the entrance to Pitt Road along with the uh, 33 and a half. 47 car was already there. Yeah, that was the driverless car that was sitting there and the 33 slammed into that car with nowhere to really go and uh, did a 360 down there as well. The 120 was trying to get to pit road and I think everybody started bottlenecking a little bit back through there and it all came down to that, that impact. And that was a whale of an impact too. All right, race fans, let's count them down again. Five, four, three, two, one. Green flag. Five wide down the front straightaway. So not only do you have to race the other cars around you, you have to race around the obstacles now. And there's many more being added to the racetrack. in turn four up against the wall three cars get together and look at the damage on the side of the 95 of danny harrell 33 19 and 95 and the 19 and 33 looks like they might be done right 19 and 33 and the 95 of danny harrell red flag red flag We have safety attending to one of the drivers down here. And, and it looks like your drivers are getting out. Everybody's okay down here, at least getting in to get checked out, folks. Man, Mike, I'll bring something to your attention right now. Look at that 41 car, Richard Ellis. There's not a dent on that car. And he started almost dead last. Yeah. He's doing a good job out there today. He's coming through the field, man. He's one of them to watch. He's coming through the field. Driving the Golden Corral 41, Richard Ellis. Five, four, three, two, one. Back to the race in here at Larry King Law, Slangley Speedway, the 11th annual day of destruction from the Evans Auto Center at Ava John's Pizza. Well, the car with the cone on top still going, the 360. Had a lot of events today that he was involved in. Mike Leshwan, by the way, behind the wheel of the 360 in this race. Richard Quinn now shown as the leader in car 31. And Chris Roberts goes back to second. I think the 10 went back around. Yeah, I think you're right. 10's back in the lead. Chris Roberts gets the lead back now as he's between one and two on the outside of the 18. And Sean Calway still up there in the top three with his number 12. There's that 110 with the, <laughs> the spoiler shoved in the back window now, Buck. And Mike, look who's running fifth, buddy. Brian Crawford. Brian Crawford in the 84 in fifth position. Yeah, one of our track staff in the inspection building and down uh, down here on Pitt Road during our regular Saturday night races, uh, flying Mike Bufkin's number, 84. That's a name for the pass there. Yeah, we're just talking about Bufkin uh, the other night. Yep, sure. Red flag again. Brian Crawford in the 84, once again, top five. Jesse Jones up there in the top five in the 42. Sean Calway, the 12, Richard Quinn, and Chris Roberts in the 10. 18 laps out of 50 completed.
All right, we're ready. Five, four, three, two, one. Back to the green flag action. Thirty-one being cheered for. Richard Quinn. Boy, this is score nightmare, ain't it? <laughs> I'm glad we don't have to keep score. I remember the first time I ever did a race here at Langley. It was an Enduro race. It was one where they had 75 cars. They were lined up three wide when they dropped the green flag. I had no idea who was leading the race after lap one. It's hard to tell. Chris Roberts maintains his lead over the 31 of Richard Quinn. The 10's got a comfortable lead, too, over Richard Quinn, a full straightaway. And Brian Crawford, left rear flat, comes down pit road. He's up there in the top five. Justin Jones is taking over third, and he's right behind Quinn coming off of turn number two and down the back stretch they go. Battle for that second spot between the 42 and the 31. Jesse Jones in the 42 today, and a big crash over here on the back straightaway with the 18, and the 19 piles in, 360 piles in. The 19 gets a piece of it, too. Five-car pileup on the back straightaway. Red flag. Man, that 360 took a shot. He's had a rough race. He was out, out here on the front stretch a few laps ago. Yeah, he's going to be done. Nice, he pulled it off the track. All right, here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Turn them loose here on lap 23 as we try to get to our halfway lap in two laps. A total of 50 laps, $1,500 to win. Well, it's getting a little bit easier, Sammy, to maneuver around some of this uh, traffic and uh, the obstacles. It gets easier the more cars that fall out, the easier it gets. <laughs> you still got a lot of cars going around the racetrack, though. So, uh, looks like that 10 is probably about the class of the field, though, right now. He's been nice and smooth all day long, Chris Roberts. The 42, Jesse Jones, now in second spot, was able to get past the 31 and the 87. Well, the thing is, he's not overdriving. He's in a nice, smooth three corner. He's not sliding or nothing, and he's just getting a good bite off. He's moving on, moving on down the straightaway. So uh, he's just calmly pedaling it, keeping it in straight. That 110 in a very dangerous spot as it comes to a crawl on the back straightaway, the one with the big spoiler on the back. Robert DeZero. leaning on each other, 31 and the 51. Now 51 coming to a crawl on the back straightaway. We got Charles Roberts Jr. listed as the driver of the 51.
The 19 comes to a stop over there at the Langley Speedway sign and turn two underneath the scoreboard by the Larry King dial I-N-J-U-R-E-D sign. Twenty-seven laps out of fifty completed. And the ten car has a spin right in front of him. The twelve car down in the ditch. I think that's Callaway. He's trying to get turned around. He's gonna back in that ditch and not be able to get out. Well, he backed it up and he's <laughs> he's gonna do it. We got the 110 and the 51 that have come to a stop on the back stretch, and it looks like the 51 is going to keep going. The 110 still unable to move, and the red flag is going to be displayed. That is for the 110 on the back straightaway. Harper Desiro, and he'll get out. Also, I think the 98 is done. Donald Davis in the 98 and the 110 also on the back straightaway. All right, five, four, three, two, one, lap 29 of 50. We're back underway. And look at uh, Danny's car, Danny. That's a hard hit inside of the car, too. Looks like it was picked up by a forklift. Yeah, those, are, those, are, those are thick doors on them. We'll have 20 laps to go next time by. 31-69 with the battle between themselves. And the 31 does a complete 360. Keeps on going between one and two. Got one more right here on front straightaway that needs to climb from the vehicle. As everybody will notice that the red flag is displayed eventually. A 51 gained about a half a racetrack. <laughs> <laughs> but some of these cars don't have too good of brakes. No, no. You know, really, most of them are just old junk cars. <laughs> Man, this looks like fun. Yeah. And Mike, that's the 87. That's the car that was second spot, according to the uh, unofficial scoreboard readings a few moments ago that the driver's climbing out of right now. I think 31's going to pull it in. All right, here we go. Wait for the 31 to come into the pits, then we'll count them down. Five, four, three, two, one. Back to destruction at Larry King Law's Langley Speedway. Started the race with 66 of these cars. Richard Quinn has fought his way back up into the top five, his fourth. Driving that white 31 on the back straightaway. Now Richard Ellis closing in. Richard is in fifth. Yeah, we probably lost about 40 cars since we started. Yeah. The 02 and 42, Jesse Jones in that easy auto 42 on the back straightaway, closing in on the 02. Michael Joyner once again, that 02. Here's that 10. You're right, Sammy, not a scratch on that thing. He and the 41, Richard Ellis, doing a great job. As I mentioned that, 26 yep. leans on him. <laughs> That's the 98, actually, it looks like.
car with about a half a straightaway length lead or maybe a little bit further than that. That's another car that doesn't have too much damage, the O2. And uh, again, that's Michael Jorner. He's closing in on the back bumper that eight. That pin's going to be hard to catch. He's not uh, sliding in it at all. He's driving right straight through the corner, keeping the car pointed right and uh, able to get back on the gas coming off. He's about to pass Danny Harrell now. Look at that brake light working on the back of Danny's car. <laughs> He's got some guys that are not going to make it easy for him to get by. But he's got a comfortable lead. He really doesn't do any, he really do anything crazy. Yeah, I mean, does something, does something crazy, he'll take him right out of that winning spot. Thirty-six laps completed. 14 laps to go. Richard Quinn comes to a slide over here in turn four. And nobody said that 02 yet. Not yet. What do we got about what? 14 cars left? Is that all such 14? Out of 66? <laughs> I lost 52 of them. A lot of these cars will be back for March, so I'm sure. Oh, yeah. Guys will just put them, away, put them in the backyard, wait for March to come, and pull them back out again. Well, if Richard Ellis can get past the 10, he'll be back on the lead lap. Oh, the 10 gets hit. By the 33, there might be a bullseye on that 10 now. Oh, yeah. I think that was John Long in 33. He's the one keeping everybody away from that $1,500 right now. Uh, Mike Canary also in the 33. There's a lot of duplicate numbers today. I think next year, they all have to have different numbers. So they don't confuse the track announcer. Track announcer, what a score, I'm sure. That's a field hard for the score, too, to keep up with. 12 and 26, a little bit of contact. And I think Sean Calway is going to be done in the 12. He pulls his car off the racetrack on the back straightaway. Got a flat tire. And Richard Quinn about to go a lap down on the 31 as the 10 goes by on the outside. Nine laps to go. Chris Roberts in the lead. Completed once again the 10 is your leader, Chris Roberts, over the 0 2. And the 0 2 with a guy spinning around right in front of him, and he splits the difference right here, barely on the 98. Not that much difference between first and second. But I don't think he's going to be able to catch the 10. Only seven laps to go. Now they tend to have to have some really bad happen for him to catch him now. Jeff Bowen about to display five laps 
to the 10. Five laps till victory for Chris Roberts in the Evans Auto number 10. And Evans Auto, one of our sponsors of today's event, along with Papa John's Pizza, for our 11th annual day of construction here at Larry King Law's Langley Speedway. 02 sideways. Can he hang on to it? He and Richard Quinn with a great battle on the back straightaway. Richard Ellis trying to catch up to the back bumper of the 10. Maybe get him loose. Jesse Jones in the 42 was sideways in the easy auto machine. He's been that the whole way, the whole race up in one and two, then it comes smooth through three and four. He's, uh, he, he's losing a little time going sideways like that. He feels fast, but it's not. And look, the 0-2 is catching the 10 for the lead as we get down to the final three laps. Michael Jordan in the 0-2, then Jesse Jones in 42. Of the race, he closes up on the back bumper. Now slams into the 18. Pushes him out of the way. Sets his sight on the leader, the 10 of Chris Roberts. Two laps to go. Hey, the boy's driving that right too now. Michael Joyner once again closes in on the back end of the 10. His last chance, final lap of the race. Chris Roberts, he avoids it. He stays in the lead in the 10 car. Final chance for the 02. That 02 is going to get blocked by that 33. Here we go. Who's it going to be for the win? It's going to zero 02 gets him loose. On it. He's oh. going to win it. The zero 02 wins the race. What a comeback. Michael Joyner in the 0 2 gets into the 10. He slams into another part car. And he's going after him now. And turn two spins him around. Wow, what a race. What a finish. Yeah, he just took $1,500 out of Chris Roberts' pocket. $1,500. Wow. Richard Ellis finishes just outside the top five. Winner of the race once again is the 02 Michael Joyner. Look at that. Look at that car. That's in. No, oh my that goodness. To the last lap. That thing was looking pretty up until the last lap. That's a tough one for uh, Roberts, man. That's Hard one. one. Man, coming out of the last corner, lose one like that. We lost a couple like that. It's not fun. Chris Roberts, he's a good driver, too, that's for sure. Two, Jesse Jones in third spot, then Richard Quinn and the 41 of Richard Ellis. Richard Ellis' car got hit on that last got bent up on that last lap. He sure did. He got a lot of damage on that last lap. Chris Roberts led most of the race until the final lap, final turn out of turn four. He ends up getting hit and he ended up into a parked car, but there's the winner, the 0 2. Michael Joyner. Yeah, I don't think he'll be invited to Chris Roberts' dinner table. <laughs> yeah. Oh, here's a little dramatic shake, <laughs> shake up. According to the officials, the 10 car was on a lap by himself. That means the 10 car is the winner of the race. Chris Roberts wins the race, a lap by himself. 
That is a whole big change up. That's not a doubt at all. He was he kept it clean the whole race down on the apron, like I said, Mike, for the entire thing. And so. So the car on the front stretch now, and there's your winner, folks. Chris is up on top. What a whale of a show we had put on. There's no doubt about that. Let me see if I can do a little fun hopping. <laughs> do all kinds of stuff. I'll break a few things, too. Well, Chris, I'll tell you what, like I said to Mike, and we watched you kept it down on the apron, avoided everybody pretty much all race long, tried to save everything right for the end. A little bit of roundy round at the end of it, but uh, everything shook out the way you needed it to because you just kept the nose clean the entire race, man. That's right. I got to thank uh, Dingo, this is his car. Uh, Richie German was supposed to drive this car. He had to go out of town for work, so I got a phone call if I wanted to drive. and Didn't know if I did, but it was a lot of fun. Uh, it was a good race, I mean. Till the end when the guy tries to kill you, but come on, you know, it's just, if you go out there and just ride in the soap and water and just make it last, you're good. And you guys get gun ho and that's what destroys them. That's right, and a $500 bonus, $1,500, buddy. Appreciate it, man. Thank the Langley Speedway, Bill Mullis, everybody putting this event on. Evans Auto, please go see him. Uh, the vape shop, uh, all the Germans, the Dingo, Jeremy, my brother-in-law, all my family, three and four. Thank you. There you go, buddy. Well, congratulations. Because it's a done down here in the 10 machine.